Hi guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be saying you how I made my old iPad one useful. So this is iPad one over there. It's jailbroken, of course, but I didn't require it for this. How I made it useful. So you can see it's running on 5.1.1. It's damn so old compared to the 10. It's now roaming around at least 9 and every iPhones and iPads. At least this has a SIM, 3G SIM support and it's a 32 gigabyte. But still old is old. Old is not gold in this case. And pretty much I hate Apple because they're just undervaluing their old items like iPad 1 few things I can take down notes in this using my own DIY stylus it may not be so precise as you do in the iPad Pro with your Apple Pencil of course but at least it's better if at all you don't want to go for one so you can see It's working as a note, but you do have a lot of lags in this. You can just see, I'm gonna just show you the lags and just erase it. So I'm gonna show you the lags now. Just concentrate, just watch. Okay, the camera was lagging, I don't, I don't think so you could see that. There is a lag, it's not very much notable, noticeable in the camera. So this was one way how I just made it useful, but not as efficient as the iPad Pro. Guys, mm, for this next part I need to just, I need, I had to change the setup. So I have just done that, I have put my laptop close to the iPad. So this next use is the extended display. For this you will be needing an application that's called as Tumon USB. And how to install this? Check out the video over there. It's there and it's on the bottom, okay? So let's check out that and then next you need a PC program also. And the link for the download is in the description. Just download the file, setup file, and just run. That's all. Okay. Now I'm gonna just open the desktop app. And this method requires the USB. There's one more variant of this that's the Tumon Air, and that's done with the Wi Fi connection, so you don't need any cable but i'm not going to be using that i'm going to be using this and make sure that the tomb on usb does support ios 5 and it's available in app store but that's paid that's why there is a way how i have just installed this so let's check the video so now since the pc program is on i need to connect my usb to the laptop There you go, and it says connecting to PC. So, to the let's go. So this is extended display. So now the mouse is over here. I hope so you can see that it's over there. So as soon as I just take from here, it's gonna come from my iPad. 
can see that it's in my iPad now so let me open this for example and I'm gonna bring it over there and this actually now works as a touch screen you can see that unfortunately my laptop is not touch screen so this is the extended display this is quite useful now let's say that I have my net beans open and I'm gonna put this over there so I can just edit this and also this at the same time if at all I'm here just edit this change it over there that's quite complicated but it's very simple you can just edit over there there you can put how many I want so this is extended display but you can't expect the same smoothness in games I'm serious the games you will experience you lack unfortunately now I do not have a game in my laptop so I cannot be actually just showing you how it works but I have tried it the game sucks especially games like Asphalt 8 and all that requires high graphics even though it comes in your PC very smoothly it's gonna be sucked up when you are playing in the iPad I have no idea why it may be the app the Tumon app that's not so good in transferring signals I think so so that's why it's too bad but it can be used even in Chrome so this has handy even in Chrome so I'm gonna just open Chrome once okay I'm gonna add a new tab I'm gonna drag one tab all the way over here double click so that was so easy right yeah it's, it's very interesting you can work on two tabs so that's good or else uh, you can choose to have explore uh, edge in a site and work on chrome with another site then otherwise you can use firefox with the chrome so you have two browsers working next to each other one runs on google one runs on bing so that's good and i think i forgot to see you a very important point that this app that does not require any sort of internet connection this is not the real data as you can see that i have nothing connected or neither is my ipad it's in aeroplane mode i hope so you can see that it's an aeroplane mode so thank you guys please like subscribe for more such videos and comment if you have any questions Thank you.